Boyfriend goes to Russia, gets Russian girlfriend, ditches American girl. She tells a story. Let's hear it. Put a finger down if you've ever been together with a man for eight years and this man is the love of your life. And he's also a professional hockey player. And so one day he gets a contract to go play hockey in Russia and it's for an insane amount of money. So we can't turn it down. And because you're supportive, you say, yes, babe, go, go to Russia, play in Russia. Okay, so first of all, and I'm gonna be doing some quick commentary on here. I've been to Eastern Europe before, okay? I've been to the Czech Republic, Ukraine, Poland, Romania, Slovenia, okay? Once brothers go, once American dudes go there and see how beautiful the white girls are, it's, it's, it's a done deal, okay? I just wanna lay that out now. I already knew where this was going before she explained it, but let's go. U.S. Air Force retired too, by the way. Let's go. So he does, and he's, things are going so well. He's playing amazing. You guys are talking every day. You're talking about rings and weddings because, uh, mind you, you've been together for eight years. And he says, I can't wait to see you at the end of February when I come home. And finally, the end of February rolls around, and all of a sudden, he disappears. He just disappears. And you're freaking out, naturally. You're saying, are you dead? Are you in the gulag? What's going on? And you text his parents, and you text his friends, and you say, what happened? Is he okay? And they say, what do you mean? He's just on vacation. He didn't tell you. So you text him, you say, what the fuck? You're on vacation. What happened? And finally, you get a response back and it says, I'm sorry, I'm not home yet. I will be home soon. This is not a good response or a drunk response. I will text you a good response tomorrow. Okay, so we already know what happened. Okay, when you go to these other countries, like especially Eastern Europe, this is this is a crazy thing about Eastern Europe that you need to understand and conceptualize. There's no direct flights to Eastern Europe, right? At best, you're gonna get a direct flight to London or uh, Frankfurt, Germany, but you're not gonna get a direct flight to Poland. You're not gonna get any direct flights to, uh, to Czech Republic from the United States, um, Romania, Bucharest. You're not gonna get any direct flights. So that filters out a lot of men going to these countries and experiencing it, which in turn, a lot of the women in these countries never seen or never interacted with an American guy, whether you're white or black or whatever the case is. And I'm telling you now, they're curious about you. This guy went to Russia. I've had some run-ins with some Russians. And I'm telling you, Eastern Europe has uh, the most attractive white women on the planet. We already know that. But anyway, keep going. And that is the last thing that you ever hear from him. This man you were together with for eight years years this is the last thing you ever hear from him and you know that he's alive and he's fine because he comes home and you see photos of him home and you text him and you say can we please talk no response you box up all of his belongings that you've accumulated over the past eight years and you write him a letter saying can i please get some closure you send it off no response eventually he goes back to russia for the second season and when he's there about a month in he posts a photo with a girl and he doesn't tag the girl and you don't know anything about the girl, but you happen to have three best friends who are FBI agents. And these girls go in and they figure out everything about this girl. Of course, of course, they're, they're jealous. <laughs> they understand. Uh, this is this is what we're seeing happen. These guys who don't know anything are going to these other countries like my brother played professional basketball in Poland. OK, his girlfriend is Polish. He had he had he had no idea what he was getting himself into when he got there. OK, uh, this guy is playing hockey. He went to go play hockey in Russia. OK, so you got to think about this pro professional. You're a professional hockey player playing in Russia. You're, um, you know, probably athletic build. You're going to have <laughs> access to a large swath of some of the most attractive women in that country. So when you compare what you can get in Russia, quality wise, femininity wise, traditional wise, right? Traditionalism, right? We can I can go on, on a long rabbit hole about traditionalism in uh, in Russia. And I don't even you know, what's funny. I don't even think only I think only fans is banned in Russia. You might want to check that. So that just kind of gives you the temperature of what's going down in Russia. They don't play that itch. But this is an average girl. Right. So brother, the white guy, he's dealing with this average uh, white girl in the United States. He goes to Russia and starts to see the truth. OK. And now he's trying to backpedal on all of his previous uh, promises to her. But anyway. 
They figure out who she is. They figure out what she does. And they figure out the timeline of their relationship. And they realize that he and, I, he and this girl had been together for quite some time. They've been together for a long time, actually. In fact, so long that they were together when he was still talking to you and saying, we're going to get married. And so now you know there was philandering. Philandering was done. And the last thing I'll say is, put a finger down if today, November 3rd, 2023, this man posts a photo of this woman with a ring on her hand. Bingo. I'm telling you, listen, guys. And I have document it, I have documentation after documentation after documentation and receipts in my Patreon of I go through my camera roll, I tell you guys stories about Eastern Europe. I tell you guys that. Do you want to visit these exotic locations that I always talk about? Thailand, Philippines, Spain, Italy, Greece, Brazil, which is where I live, Colombia. You need to start having your finances in order. Right. We need to start thinking global instead of local. Right. I have 10 streams of passive income through stocks, bonds, ETFs, mutual funds, crypto, book royalties and more. I can help you build your passive income streams. We can take a look at your situation and see what's best for you. Check out Boyotic.io. This is my new website. I also give travel consultations how to move and shake in Brazil, how to avoid safety mishaps, where to meet the ladies, where's the best place you should stay, Airbnb versus hotel, where's the best place to withdraw money, right? Tourist places you must go to, boots on the ground information on an economic level. I can provide that information, okay? Voyotic.io. Check out the website, book a consultation today, okay? When you go there, if you are into vanilla, I'm t if you're into the vanilla girls, like, you know, and I'm, I'm fair and balanced. You know what I mean? I like the vanilla, too. But if you're all the way in, you want to go to Eastern Europe, period. You want to go there. You want to check out the sites, mingle around. And I'm telling you, there is a night and day difference between the quality you're going to get there and the quality of women you're going to get in the United States, period. And I have lots of people to back me up. And this story is backing it up now. He was with her eight years. No ring. He went to Russia. Uh, and now he has a ring. on. He put a ring on it. I one of my troops in the Air Force that I work with. Right. He worked for me. OK. I'm not going to say his name. This dude was this dude was practicing Russian at work. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just practicing my Russian. I'm like, dude went to Russia. Married a Russian chick and they're going through the whole process and whatnot. He's trying to figure out if he's going to move there or they're going to go through the long process of trying to get her back to the States. But I'm telling you. People ask me, they like MT, you moved to Brazil. Why are you move to Brazil? You're going to have to learn Portuguese. I'm telling you what I'm seeing here. I'm willing to learn Portuguese. I'm motivated to learn Portuguese. And when you go to these other countries, you're going to start being you're going to start figuring out how motivated you are to speak the language. Anyway. This is a true story. It did not happen to me. It happened to my best friend of 20 years. You're a liar. It happened to you. See, that's what they always try to do. It was my best friend of 20 years. No, 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 sister. <laughs> this happened to you. This happened to you. You got too much energy in this uh, in this post. Too much emotion in this post. We know it happened to you. OK, that's why you're that's why you're on one right now. And unfortunately, this is going to start happening to a lot of guys. But what we got what we got to do is, is that we need to uh, broadcast this out. We need to tell these stories and tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Right. Anyway, a woman I have known for 20 years. This is not a novel. This really happened. And sir, if you're watching. You know who you are and you can rot in hell. Okay, she, so she's triggered. Bottom line up front. That's what we say in the Air Force. Bluff. Bottom line up front. Let me get to the big screen real quick. You guys need to get your passport. If you're a white dude and you're saying, you know what, I want me a white girl, you need to go to Eastern Europe. Period. You need to start checking out Czech Republic. Start there. Trust me. You want to start there. 
You want to start in Romania. You want to start in uh, Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, Northern Europe. You want to get familiar with Eastern Europe. And I'm telling you, the, the fact that there's no direct flights there is going to filter out a lot of men from going and you're going to stand out, out, out of the crowd when you go to these different countries. Especially Eastern Europe, they don't get a lot of American tourists like that. Half of Americans, I would say more than half, 65% of Americans can't even find fucking Romania on the map. You know what I'm saying? They don't know geography. They don't know the capital of these places and all that type of stuff. Okay? If you are a brother man, hey, come to South America. I'm in Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Argentina. Okay? If you are into Asian women, the Asian persuasion, I've been to Asia. I lived in Asia six years. Okay? South Korea is slept on. Philippines is slept on. There's a, mostly it's mostly older men who go to the Philippines. It's not younger guys. There's a, we need a, we need more younger men going there. It's a it's a secret for older men. The Philippines and then Thailand is for everybody. Thailand hands down as a man. If you're single before you die, you got to go to Thailand. Period. Okay, that was my first um, solo trip. Uh, two weeks. All right. I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, suggestions. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. But <laughs> this is not going to end. This is just the beginning. Peace.